a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Mark 5, 22. And behold, one of the rulers of the synagogue came, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet. Hello, welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Roger Allen. Today, our topic is Jairus' dog. Let us pray. Loving Father, at this time I place myself in your hands, that you will use me through your Holy Spirit, so that this lesson today will be one that is well accepted, spiritually, mentally, and physically. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So this morning, we are looking at the topic, Jairus' daughter, and I would like to share with you some of what I too have learned. The resurrection and prayer of Jesus' own death and resurrection were not limited to any specific ethnic group or social class. In Deuteronomy 34, 10 to 12, it states, But since then, there has not risen a Israel, in Israel a prophet like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face in all the signs and wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt, before Pharaoh, before all his servants, and in all the land. And by all that mighty power and all great terror which Moses performed in the sight of Israel. The Shushanite woman was prominent in her community. The widow, a name, had only one son upon whom she was probably dependent. This of Luke 7 verse 12. In contrast, Jairus was a ruler of the synagogue, probably in Capernaum regardless of their different cultural backgrounds or social status, all of them were blessed by God's life-giving power. And this is found in Mark 5, verse 22. By Jairus, Jairus' 12-year-old daughter was lying deathly sick at home. So he went to Jesus and begged him to come to his womb and lay his healing hands on her. But before they could get there, someone already brought the sad news. Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? Then Jesus said to the grieving father, Do not fear, only believe, based off Mark 5, verse 36. Indeed, all the father could do was trust totally in God's intervention. Arriving at the house, Jesus said to those who gathered there, Why do you make a commotion and weep? The child is not dead but asleep. They ridiculed him, one, because they knew that she was dead, and two, they did not grasp the meaning of his words, the comforting metaphor by which sleep stands for death, seemed to have been Christ's favorite way of referring to his experience. Death is a sleep, but it is a sleep, a deep sleep, from which only the great life giver can awaken one, for he alone has the keys to the tomb. After the resurrection of this girl, those who saw it were overcome with amazement. Based off Mark 5, verse 42. No wonder, for now, that is final absolute and seemingly irreversible to have been something like this with their own eyes. Surely make, surely must have been an amazing life-changing experience. Jesus went, and even though they said that she was dead, but the power of Jesus raise Jairus' daughter from the dead. I too am confident that if I sleep in Jesus, he will raise me from the dead. What about you? Today, he gives us the assurance that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And if we only believe, remain faithful to God, like Jairus' daughter, Jesus will raise us from the dead. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Father, our God, we thank you that you have given Jesus Christ your Son the power over death. We thank you, dear Lord, that while we sleep temporarily in your name, one day we will hear your voice. Well done. Come home, my child. I pray that as a people, we will prepare our hearts for that day. And Lord, we will not allow anything in this world to distract us. Thank you, dear Jesus, for loving us. And today we thank you for interceding on our behalf. To Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining today. 
Please join tomorrow for another exclusive episode of Alpha. Until then, God bless. A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.